Hey guys, uh, I'm back with Invasion. I'm just gonna do this one, I'll probably be a lot of fun that one. But the first one is right after the first one, for me at least, to put me to post some else. But, I'm just gonna go ahead and start it and try to get a different ending. Yeah, you did. Really? Mart with my little sister, right? What time? Michael you? says, stream it. And me and actually off the description. It wasn't my mom, but it could have easily been smiling in a long time. Michael, I'll start laughing. The same. Everyone, to fan players control players now can choose to have Daniel strike up a conversation with Eric. Michael, fan or Eric? Well, I'll go to Eric this time. So, Eric, what's been happening, man? Daniel says interestedly. Nothing much, bro. I've just been working on my new computer gram, Melodic, the last two years, Eric says with great pride. Really? Daniel asks extremely <gasps> curiously, stunned, as though such a large project was going on for two years. Yeah, brother, Eric says extremely excited. It's a search engine that can allow you to be able to look up anything in the world without region locking or censorship, and it does it in milliseconds. Wow, Eric, that's really impressive, Daniel says, happy and surprised. To which Eric replies, thanks, Daniel. Should have enough money generating from it in the next five years to pay off all of Courtney's as well as my debt and pay for Emily's college tuition in full. In short, we'd be set for life. Daniel, wow, brother, congrats, Daniel says with enthusiasm. I haven't been this excited since you and I hacked into our high school's intercom and uploaded that MP3 of Curtis Walker singing the song Barbie Girl to the whole school, he says with a chuckle. Oh my gosh, I remember that, Daniel says nostalgically. No girls would talk to him for the rest of the sophomore year, Daniel says laughing. Guess that's karma for being a bully to others. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go use the restroom. Eric, what the fuck is this shit? Eric shouts in rage from the other side of the house. The camera pans back to Daniel in the bathroom. The camera follows Daniel, running down the hallway, sounding worried and frantically looking for what's going on. Daniel enters the frame and says, what's going on? Eric, I'll tell you what's wrong. Look at this garbage. He yells and shows his phone to Daniel. Daniel looks at Eric's phone and sees a search engine called Melodic. Daniel puts Eric's phone down and asks, what is this, Eric? Some some bitch copied my search engine and then copied everything down to the text font. It's ridiculous. Michael and Sam both say, Seriously? Eric, I've been working on making that search engine for so long, it was going to help my family and make us set for life. Sam, I don't know how someone could completely steal your idea like that. Did someone else know you were working on this? No, Eric says, calming down. I was the only one who knew until I told you guys today. Michael. Do you have enemies? Someone that might want to screw you over? Eric. Well, unless it's Curtis Walker from high school seeking his revenge after all these years, which I seriously doubt because he would be too stupid to pull something like this off when he could barely spell the word meatloaf. So no, Eric says, visibly frustrated. He then paces around with his hands on his face, extremely frustrated as time passes. Daniel, look, Eric, maybe there's a way we can fix this, he says reassuringly. We've always got your back. Eric, thanks, guys. I appreciate that, but don't worry about it. I don't want you guys to have to worry about me. I'll just go home and sleep on some ideas. Let my subconscious work on things. Eric, are you sure you don't want any help? Daniel asks, trying to reassure Eric. Yeah, man, we can always find the guy and threaten to sue him. Michael says, trying to be reassuring to Eric. Sam, we could also beat him up. A little bit of one-two. Reset his mind. Yeah, guys, I'm good. Eric says reassuringly. I'll see you soon. Eric then walks through the living room door and closes it until he's no longer visible. Well, I guess I'm going to head home, too. Just think that it's only been one day of the police being defunded and already our friend has lost his master project that would have helped him and his family, Michael says with visible disappointment. Then walks off screen in the direction of the living room door. Sam, I guess that's my cue to go to bed, too. Sam, then imitating Eric. See you in the morning, Danny boy. Sam then walks off screen. Camera focuses on Daniel, showing him visibly concentrating on what just happened. Screen fades to black. But the scene continues. Fade in, kitchen entrance from main hallway. Nighttime, around midnight. Daniel is cleaning up the mess from when he, Sam, Eric, and Michael were all visiting. Daniel enters the kitchen from the main hallway and is sliding wrappers into a plastic bag for putting it in the trash can. 
Daniel cleans Daniel the trash and finds the flash drive with Eric's name on it. Daniel tilts his head while looking at flash drive in confusion. Daniel says, what the heck? He says befuddled under his breath. Why is there a flash drive here with Eric's name on it? Players then have the choice of looking at the files on the flash drive or simply going to bed. Well, this is different. Huh. Man, I feel like if Eric is gonna, like, I don't know, accuse us of stealing it. But not again. I don't even know. Uh, eh. But Daniel reflects on the evening with his friends, takes a deep breath and a stretch, and heads to bed. I probably would like to give it to him. Fade in Daniel's bedroom. Daniel is awoken suddenly from his sleep after hearing a noise. He looks at the clock and sees 2 a.m. Daniel is visibly tired and confused. Players have the choice of making Daniel investigate the noise on his own or shout out across the house, asking if Sam is making the noise. Let's see if I try this. Daniel receives no response from Sam and decides to get up and find him. Daniel walks into the hallway to the end and is within view of the kitchen and back living room near the patio door. Daniel finds someone dressed in all black and cannot tell who it is. Players choose to hide or ask if that person is Sam. Well, I'm going to hide again. Daniel notices there's that. an intruder in the house. He quickly hides beneath. The intruder enters the kitchen to listen it's the same. and listens carefully. The same is gonna Trudor. do a different path. Self, self. This time I'm gonna get, get Sam's Daniel gun. Daniel makes his way to Sam's bedroom to get Sam's handgun. Now he's ready to go after the intruder. Daniel makes his way to the living room to confront the intruder that has just come upstairs from the basement. Daniel raises Sam's handgun and points it at the intruder. Daniel then says, Turn around slowly, asshole. The intruder turns slowly as directed. Daniel says, put the gun on the table in front of you. The intruder does as he's told. Daniel, put your hands in the air. They follow along. They put their hands in the air. Show me who you are. This is where the intruder hesitates. Daniel repeats, show me who you are. The intruder continues to hesitate. Show me who you are, Daniel says. He demands as he cocks Sam's handgun, preparing to fire if necessary. I won't ask again, Daniel threatens. The intruder slowly takes off their facial coverings, and Daniel finds out that the intruder is in fact Eric. Daniel. Eric? Eric says, hey pal, long time no see. Eric immediately grabs his gun from the table and starts shooting at Daniel while running to cover but misses his shots. Daniel fires back but also misses. The scene pans between Eric taking cover in the back living room and Daniel taking cover in the front room. Come on Daniel, let's have a beer. I'll buy, Eric shouts, trying to sound friendly. Eric, why the hell are you doing this, man? I thought we were friends. Eric says, not okay, anymore, Eric. Daniel. Not anymore. Both Daniel and Eric shoot at each other while transitioning to different parts of cover. Eventually, due to Eric trying to advance on Daniel, with Daniel trying to back up into cover, with both men going in a clockwise direction around the house like a game of cat and mouse, Daniel and Eric actually end up rotating and switching spots, ending up in opposite sides of the living rooms. More shots are exchanged, and eventually Daniel takes the patio door in the back living room outside to the backyard to retreat from Eric. Daniel runs into the backyard, and Eric follows. Scene, outside, backyard, night. Camera cuts to Eric walking out the patio door. Eric, why are you doing this? Daniel shouts while Eric's in the middle of shooting at him. Eric, you know why, Daniel. Both continue to fire until police sirens can be heard in the distance. Eric looks over in the direction of the sound of the police sirens. Eric says, crap! Eric shoots his last few remaining bullets at Daniel while trying to hop over the backyard fence in the direction of a field to escape. Daniel hears police sirens and notices Eric trying to escape. Daniel tries to shoot Eric in the leg but runs out of ammo. Eric notices this and both Daniel and Eric stand in place looking at each other in intense silence. Camera pans over to the backyard entrance gate as two police officers enter the property. Both Daniel and Eric look at the police officers coming closer and then quickly back at each other. Eric says, I hope you're happy about what you did, Daniel. 
Eric makes a run for the backyard fence in the direction of the field as police announce themselves, and one police officer starts chasing Eric. Police officer one says, Stop in the name of the law. This is the police. Police officer shouts this authoritatively. Camera view zooms out to show the backyard and depth of the field Eric is trying to escape and eventually fades to black. Fade in. House basement. Storage room. Early morning. Daniel and police officer two find Sam tied up in the basement with a mouth gag. Scene transition, house living room, morning, 6 a.m. Police officer two, all right, gentlemen, your house will be monitored over the next few days by two patrol cars. You rest up easy now, they said reassuringly. Sam says, thank you, officers. Daniel says, yeah, thank you, guys. You saved our asses tonight. Police officer one, don't mention it. Both police officers leave the house through the front door, and Daniel shuts the door and locks it. <sighs> Sam says, so Eric came into our place just only hours ago, reminiscing all of our good times, and then he tries to kill us. This is frustrating and bewildering to me daniel replies he said it was my fault sam says what daniel yeah when we were fighting in the heat of the moment he said this was my fault and right before he left he told me i hope you're happy with what you did daniel sam says what do you think he meant by that daniel says i don't know this is ending too Okay, uh, there really needs to be something at the end so you can go back to the beginning. Well, apparently the bad guy was Eric go along. So, uh, that's going to be interesting to try to the other end. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to leave this up for now. Leave this video. Make sure to like button, subscribe, comment down below. If you don't need for any future uploads, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.